This is the most important video in the entire meeting skills. You can mess up everything else, but don't mess up this step. We have, we've given it our best shot. We now need to close or advance to the best possible next step. We need to progress this sale. We may not be able to get a purchase order sign and close the business right now, but we need to advance it. Now some very important concepts. The first one is an advance or best next step fundamentally requires action and energy from the customer. It's not something we do, it's something they do. And I'm indebted to uh, James Muir's book, The Perfect Close, for making this clear. Uh, action and energy that the customer puts in to the effort. Sending a proposal that they may or may not read is not energy from the customer. If that is the next step that you should send a proposal, far better to schedule a meeting to review the proposal together because that requires energy from the customer. Mr. Customer, I'm willing to write a proposal. It's going to take me considerable effort. Would you be willing to sit through it with me and just make sure I've got everything as you require? Could we set up a meeting to review that so that I can take you through it? That requires energy. But how do we even get to this step, to getting them to agree to, how do we get a commitment to do something that takes energy? And, and this comes down to how you ask. There are hundreds of books written on closing and getting commitment from customers, but here is the recommendation because it's not high pressure and it tells you where you are. And the question is, does it make sense to? Does it make sense to do this next thing? Does it make sense for you and I to sit down and review a proposal? Does it make sense to convene a meeting of the other stakeholders so that we can make a presentation and make sure everybody's on board. Does that make sense? Silence. Customer needs to think. They might come back and say, no, I don't really think it does make sense. I think I'm going to have to talk first to my CFO. Brilliant. We know what they're thinking. Well, they might say, yeah, that makes perfect sense. And we might even claim a bit more so here is where a bit of preparation is needed. In your meeting plan, you'll find it in the meeting plan, you want to have already prepared your stretch advance. Your absolute best possible. You want to have ready your advance, what you think is the most likely, and you want to have prepared your fallback advance. Okay, so the customer says, well, no, I don't think it makes sense for us to meet and review a proposal yet. I'm going to need some rough cost costings from you and discuss with my C CFO. Okay, fallback advance. All right, in that situation, does it make sense for you and I and the CFO or just you and I, to schedule a call to discuss the result of that after you've taken those uh, budget numbers to your CFO. Does that make sense? So we're coming back to this question. Does it make sense to? And it's really telling, telling you where you are. And if we've got a stretch advance, an advance, and a fallback ready, then we're in great position to tease this out, to figure out with the customer what is the next best step.